What happens when you ignore God's hierarchy? Multiple things can happen, and all of it's bad. See, for years, and I mean years, humanity has tried their best to overstep their boundaries and try to change the way God wants things run. Now, everyone can say there is no God, and everybody can say they ain't followed him. That don't mean the hierarchy don't exist, and it don't mean that he didn't have it functioning to begin with. And I think you can see some things playing out today, especially in these times, as to why you should never skip God's hierarchy. So why are we talking about God's hierarchy? We're going to talk about something very sensitive, and I want you to keep an open mind. And I, I really do mean that word open because it's not to what I have to say. Keep your mind open to the hierarchy that we mentioned before. For a long time, we have tried to implement women into roles of leadership, okay? And let's be honest about something. Naturally, by their nature, women have a very specific role to fulfill that without it, society would implode. Men have a very specific standard to hold up and a very specific spot to stand in. Otherwise, society would implode. Now, when you crossbreed the two and you set one over here when it should be over here, you end up with a whole different game of chaos. Why are we talking about it? Recently, a certain mayor from Illinois was in the news, a woman by the name of Tiffany Henyard. Um, you can go look her up all you want. I mean, feel free. To, it, just be warned that it's part of it is hilarious and part of it is angering. So it, it approach with caution. But it caused us to wonder, is there something innate to females that causes them to not be adequately suited for leadership roles? I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for it. I'm prepped and I'm ready. I got thick skin. But of course, again, I'm speaking from a Bible perspective, not human perspective. So if you're going to come at me with a human perspective, just understand I'm not listening to your conversation because it has nothing to do with the topic. We're talking about God's hierarchy. In man's hierarchy, anything can go. It, it don't even matter. A dog could be in charge. In God's hierarchy, that's not how this works. And when you step out of that, you encounter problems. If you look around politics today, you will notice one very specific thing going on. A lot of the women who have taken on leadership roles have a massive problem trying to to curtail their emotional state when trying to speak professionally. They have a very hard time toning down the emotions, their reaction, and putting in place a very stoic mindset to have the conversation. They can't do it. Now, I know you're going to say there are men that do it too. Yeah, men who have fallen to the feminine spirit. Of course, they're going to be the exact same way. And they're also very persuasive and pervasive throughout the politics that we see today. There are tons of men out there that are not manly. Let's just be honest about that. They all follow a very specific type of spirit, feeling, vibe. The women have taken up the roles that men should have, and the men have taken up the roles that the women should have. And what you end up with is an explosion of chaos. Nothing will get done because they can't get it done because they're not functioning in their role. Now, we seem to think that the role is dangerous for some reason. Or, man, you're trying to keep women down. No, we're trying to make things function properly. It's like me trying to take a gear from a car and put it on a bicycle and expect the bicycle to work properly. Or better yet, putting bicycle tires on a 4x4. It's not going to work. Yeah, you can say it's a wheel, but it will not hold up to the strenuous test of a four by four. It's not made for it. We have done just that with the gender swap and you can see it in full effect, especially in politics. Now, Miss Henyard is not new to the game. Everybody does what she's doing, what she's accused of doing. Milking funds, stealing, traveling on, uh, on the US dime, um, lying about it. That's a, I'm sorry to tell you, that's politics. Both men and women Republican and Democrat do it. Some just hide it better. 
We're not even going to touch the fact of the black and white issue because they all do it when they get power. I want to focus on the reasonings behind all of this. And I sincerely believe that this is because we have deviated from the plan of how things are supposed to run. We think we know better. The bad thing about that is we don't know better. And when it has actually followed the way he wants it, you'd be amazed how smooth things move. They move so smoothly because everybody is in the place they're supposed to be. No one's out of pocket. No one's out of place. There's not a hangnail there. You don't have a hole in your sock. You don't have a missing shoe heel. You don't have a hole in your crotch and you don't have your fly open. Everything just works perfect. But I don't believe that we're going to get back to the right way of doing things without God. And right now, nobody wants to deal with God. No, Nobody does. Because it's, just, it's, it's a hampering thing. They don't get what they want out of that relationship. They'll get what they need, but they, they don't get what they want. And for them, their want supersedes the need. Now, I'm not saying that women can't lead. That would be anti-biblical, right? But I am saying that's not your role, though. It's not the role that you are built, made, created for. What you were created for is far more needed than the one you want. <laughs> I'm just, just laying it down as, as true as I can do it. You are giving up gold for a cubic zirconia because it looks flashy. The leadership role seems like it's something that you need to, but you don't. Because in you doing that, you're giving up a far greater treasure in the role that you're supposed to have and you're going to miss out on a maximum amount of freedom and joy. You're, you're doing it to yourself. Men, you're doing the same when you give up your manly station. And you indulge in the emotional. You are going completely against your nature, which is why you will always remain miserable when that happens. If you stay true to what you are built to do, Guarantee, I will guarantee you this, things in your life will move so much smoother. And you can see it, that when a woman tries to act manly, she's no longer attractive. I'm, I mean, some men might like it, but it's not attractive. You can't reason with that kind of female. You can't engage in pure conversation, and you can never love them right. And in turn, they can't do it either. Same thing with men. When you leave the boundaries of what you were built for, you lack reason, you lack love, and you lack understanding. So our advice for you is this. Go back to our God-given positions. Go back to God's given position. Because if you don't, you're just going to see more chaos. You're going to see more dereliction of duties. You're going to see way more people abandon all reason and, and logic. And you're going to see more children suffer from it. They need both sides to work in their capacity for them to thrive. And you're seeing it firsthand with the way children are going downhill. This is not for me to try and bash men or women. And I know many may not want to hear that you have a specific spot to fill and a role to play in this game we call life. But what you want and what is reality rarely shake hands. And reality will always supersede what you want. The reality of it is, the way you've been doing it is a failing point. The way God wants you to do it is where you'll find success. You want success? The answer is out there. You want continued failure? Just keep doing what you're doing, I guess. <laughs>